women. How to understand homo sapiens who can quarter you for forgetting the exact day and time you first kiss? And can we understand them? They are completely unpredictable. They are probably building a new Nox arc right now to flood all men. How to understand someone who wants breasts to attract men? And when they do, they say, pervert. Are you serious? I mean, really, if there are women in the comments, let's get this one straight. For real, why pump your ass and then wonder what people are looking at? Hardly everyone solves Doku in their head when their gaze is fixed on your ass. You wear tight clothes, and then if someone looks at you, you get that judgmental look like, what the hell animal? Even though you're showing your own bulge on purpose, and you're like, don't look. But subconsciously, you're like, oh, my big ass can give birth to twins for you. Personally, I'll only look at the ass because it's an eye catcher. Even if it's a man walking around with a huge bouncy ass, it automatically attracts attention. What scares me is that I'm the one who's uncomfortable, not the woman, that she's showing off her body parts and then telling you, you are horny. That's what hypocrisy looks like. Why would you wear skinny ties to the point to pull the fabric up to the, your chest so we can even see your dumpling and it's minus 20 degrees Celsius? Yes, I realize that beauty requires sacrifice, but she didn't require you to crush your genitals to the point of splitting in two. Like, what's attractive in men? Forearms? Broad shoulders? A face? If so, we can say to women, what are you looking at? And they'll have to lower their gaze, where it might actually look less pleasant. Although, sometimes we can earn it. Remember, this guide is meant to be fun and informative, not definitive. Every woman is unique, so don't take it as a one-size-fits-all guide. In fact, many women don't understand themselves. It depends on many factors such as age, life experience, mindset, mental attitudes, stereotypes, upbringing, and so on. And in this video, we're often going to be talking about mature women, or at least those who are over 18. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, let's find out if we have a chance of understanding women before we lose our reproductive function. It's important to realize that women are masters of manipulation. They're the ones who can both boost a man or sink him. So to understand women, first of all, let's talk about communication. They say that communication is the key to any relationship. And with women, it's the key. But what's the secret sauce? It's all about active listening and empathy. Pay attention to both her words as well as her body language. Reflect back what you hear. It's called mirroring. You noticed this with the opposite sex when you were in high school, right? Or you've noticed mirroring with another object of your desire. Especially when the hormones in your body excite your nervous system at every opportunity, even in the most embarrassing moments. By the way, it's described very well and amusingly in the cartoon series Big Mouth. Roughly speaking, to understand a woman, you need to think like a woman. The skill of listening is very important. When you're listening, don't interrupt her. Let her finish her thoughts. Ask open-ended questions to stimulate deeper conversation. And don't forget nonverbal cues, such as nodding and maintaining eye contact. Show genuine interest and validate her feelings, so she feels heard and valued. It's both trivial and simple. To understand women, you need to know how to listen, unfortunately. Seriously, just listen. Actively listening means actually paying attention what she's saying, not just waiting your turn. Show empathy, ask questions and give feedback. This allows you to connect on a deeper level. And maybe with understanding there will be something else on a deeper level later. So listen, even though there will be small pieces of important information. Yes, undoubtedly I am not generalizing, and many women speak to the point, but most of them are very emotional and talk for hours about things what you could fit into one sentence. Of course, just listening won't make you a dolphin to communicate with ultrasound, and you can't read minds, but you can guess what a woman is thinking, unlike men, who understandably live shorter lives than women. Yes, I said earlier that women are unpredictable, but men are a separate universe. And if women are watching this video, please be straight with us, men. And here's another piece of advice. Remember the little things, birthdays, anniversaries, favorite flowers, which toilet paper her buttocks like better. Those details matter. Get a calendar or a note-taking app to keep track of important dates and preferences. It's better to mark on a calendar than on a tombstone after you forget the name of her childhood pet. Memorizing important dates shows that you're paying attention and that you care, even though most of the time it's trifles or hyperbole. Small gestures, like a sincere note or an unexpected bouquet of her favorite flowers, will make her feel appreciated and valued. In reality, the small thing itself is not that important, but it's the emotion it brings. And that leads to the next point. Emotions. Women are often better at feeling their emotion than men. And this is a female superpower. 
Whereas men, because of stereotypes, are weak at feeling emotions and don't express them. Like when they say, men don't cry, stop crying, are you weak? And you know what? They cry. They cry because they've been men for too long, which means they've got so much bottled up inside of them that they're either gonna let it out in tears or they're gonna explode and channel that energy into something bad. And it's in these moments that women's ability in their height emotionalism, that's when she can be supportive and a man will be able to move mountains, including for her own sake. And at the same time she can sink him. By sink him, I mean the very same manipulative women who do everything for their own gain. Whether it's to get close to a rich daddy, whether it's convincing a man that he is wrong just by crying. Which is a manipulative tool by the way. There are also some individuals who are fighting for what they already have. The same women who fight for gender equality while holding position of power. There's no doubt that women's labor was less valued in the past because there wasn't the abundance and prosperity that there is now. In Instead, we had factories where we had to work up a sweat, and it was physically possible for a man to do more than a woman, so he was paid more. But in modern times, the opportunities are equal for one and for others. Moreover, you all know the oldest profession, for which the female gender earned more than most men at that time. By the way, sexuality is also a tool of manipulation. For example, a woman can pay in kind in some cases. Men don't have that function. A woman can say, I don't have any money, I'll pay in kind. And if a man said that, this is what happens. Fuck no! Or this. Hello, 911, what's your emergency? My point is, those who abuse their position. Also, we are talking about people who are minorities. They abuse their position and therefore are often misunderstood. And the theme of the video is how to understand. How to understand in this case, women. Let's move on to the next point. Before that, however, a fun fact. People don't fall in love with the person themselves, but with the emotion, support and understanding of the other person. For example, if your dog Flippy is with you more often in important moments than anyone else and you feel like he understands you better than anyone else, if it was legal to marry animals, it would be. Now let's talk about interests and hobbies. Yes, stereotypes say that women like shopping and men like sports, but guess what? Here's what. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting point, because despite what I'm about to say next, it's not always possible to understand a woman better in this way, because interests or hobbies can be completely that don't match the personality. So find common ground and share your experiences, explore new hobbies to discover new passions, attend events or take classes that intrigue the female gender. For example, a woman likes to read romance and erotica, and at first it seems like something ridiculous, especially in the age of the digital world and the internet. Well, men and women here think differently, whereas men are all about shoving their banana in as fast as possible to make sure that 9 months from now an Australopithecus like himself will be running around and at the same time women care about emotions. The more emotion you have, the more likely the female will allow you to conceive an Australopithecus inside her. I used to think reading was bullshit myself, until I caught myself thinking that I sat with an erection for the entire time I was reading the novel. And it's even better because you have to visualize what's in the book which is much more enjoyable than watching other primates copulate on an orange website. Also, I didn't even expect those words would send blood rushing from my brain to there. In a matter of seconds, I will now read out one of the things, so that you can understand. In the dim lilith's table, he crunched softly underfoot. Julie leaned against a wooden beam. Catching her breath, Thomas held his hand out slowly, his tunic slightly open. Exposing his muscular chest, Thomas stepped toward her. His fingers touched her cheek, and their gazes met. The silence was filled with unspoken desire. He pulled her to him. Their bodies pressed against each other, radiating warmth. His lips found hers in fierce, insistent kiss. His hands wandered, exploring hidden curves and muscles. The world outside the window kissed their teeth, and they surrendered to their own primal passion at the moment. Who's got a boner? Admit it, that's why it works. And the guys of the Middle Ages knew a thing or two of romance, as did the writers of the time. Be open to exploring a woman's interests and invite her to explore yours. It's all about balance and respecting each other's hobbies. You may find that you really enjoy reading books or practicing yoga. It's even possible that a woman might become your biggest fan when you're doing stand-up. <laughs> I already said that last one for me personally. I'd be into that kind of thing. And finally, honesty and trust. These are the pillars of any strong relationship, which are very important to understand. Not just women, 
but people in general. Be honest, even when it's difficult, and build trust through your actions. Honesty promotes transparency and openness, which in turn promotes not to overwhelm your partner with innuendo or something along the lines of take a guess yourself. Trust is built over time through consistent, reliable behavior and mutual respect. Trust is not only loyalty, but also reliability and support in all areas of life. So, if a woman says she's gotten fat, you don't have to say that she hasn't. After all, the result will say the opposite, and condom as well don't need. It's better to start doing sports together. Often women don't need advice or solve a problem for her, only if she herself doesn't ask for it. Women need support, and she will come to the right answer herself. Trust should be earned, not given. And now, you're about to learn the ultimate answer to the question. How to understand women? <laughs> well, we're doomed to pack up and go back to Mars, or deporting women back to Venus, or hopefully the wolf tips will give you a better understanding of women. It's not a cure-all. Every woman is her own universe. So approach women with an open mind and an open heart. Love you women. Peace and love to all. And I am off.